friends, welcome back to the part 2 of this beginner's makeup series. In part 1 we have done all about prep, prime and conceal. To watch that video you can go to my description box, I have listed the link there. And this part we will be talking about the foundation and tips. Thank you. So for this we will be using a beauty blender and I am using this beauty blender here. I have already soaked it in water to just show you how I do it, I will just demonstrate it. So I take a bowl of water like this which is filled with water and I immerse this beauty blender inside it. Soak it well and then just squeeze the extra water. So this is how I do it. So make sure that you do not have any extra water there. You can try to remove as much water you want. You can also run it with a dry tissue after this if needed. And I am using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and my shade is Light Tan. So as I have dry skin I tend to use a beauty blender because it gives me a nice dewy finish as there is some water soaked in this. But if you are an oily skin type or a combination skin type, you can always use a brush for that. So I use the Total Drop Foundation. This is in liquid form. So I like to always shake it before I use so that no residue stays at the bottom. And this has a nice dropper so you can use it with drops as you need. And you can build the coverage accordingly. So I use it with the dropper on my hands first because that way it does not fall on my dress and I can apply the drops directly on my face. So for the first application we will just apply little bit of this and not like put a lot amount on our face directly. So try to build the coverage as you go. Don't just put a lot of amount at the first go because it's going to be difficult to blend. And do not forget your ears, nose and your neck. I try to go all over my neck so that the, there is no discoloration between the face and the neck and everything looks nice together. So let's blend this first application now. So I'm using a beauty blender and I'm using the bottom of this and how I use this is I just use it like press it all over my cheeks and that's how I will be doing now. I'm just doing with like gently strokes. I'm not like really pushing it hard, not punching it in. I really love this foundation because it gives really flawless look and you can build the coverage as you want. So if you want medium coverage, you just want have one application. If you want full coverage, you can just build it on. Do not forget your ears and your neck always. Now I'm using the smaller tip to just go around the eyes. So I will be using one more application because I want some more coverage. So I will be taking again some drops on my hand and then applying it again. I also like to apply the foundation around my eyes so that there's no like separation of colors between those two. I know we have applied some concealer but still I like to do this step. So I'm applying very little amount. Just dab.
Now with the beauty blender and the top tip, I am going to just blend it around the eyes, slowly. I like to use the beauty blender because it's nice and soft and pretty gentle on the skin while a brush could be a little harsh sometimes, especially the under eye area. Do not forget the creases around your nose. Always try to push the foundation properly there, otherwise it will look bad. Make a bubble if you want and then you can push it more properly if you need. Try to go as high as you can so that you don't see some dark skin here and then lighter skin down. The beauty blender really helps with these points. So we are done with part 2 where we have learnt about foundation and blending techniques. Next part we will be learning about contouring, baking and highlighting. Thank you for watching.